I'm James Morton. I've just finished recording my Building the Blues Series 3. Building the Blues Series 3 is a continuation of uh, what we looked at in Series 1 and Series 2 of Building the Blues. So here we go further down the line with other colours for your palette um, for improvisation on the blues and we, and we look at some different concepts as well and just take everything a bit further. This series looks at some other more advanced options um, when improvising on the blues. So series one, you can get the foundations of what the blues is and how to start playing on it. We start looking at the chords in more depth on series two. And series three kind of brings in some other concepts and ideas and other scales and other um, sort of sound possibilities into play as well. We look at some really cool notes and how these notes fit together. Um, and you get an insight into how I think about linking these things together. Once again, this is a very interactive way of uh, teaching for me and learning for you. Um, there's the backing track in the same key as the other, as the other two blues series. Again, just a, a, a continuation of building up all these tools all in the same key so it's all relevant. Um, and it's interactive and, and uh, we, we, you know, we, we'll be having a jam together and there's lots of stuff with the backing track. And it's a really fun way to, to learn, get to grips and to start expressing yourself with this improvisation. By the end of this series, you should have some really, really good tools uh, in your armory, some really good colours in your artist pad. Um, to express yourself and improvise and have, really have fun playing over this 12 bar blues because it's such a fun thing to play, it's one of my favourite things to play anyway um, and it is the root and base of so much music that we, that we are familiar with now. This series is not just about playing a 12 bar blues, it's also relevant to playing funk music, playing rock music, playing, uh, playing jazz music, it relates to pretty much everything um, and there's a, there's a foundation to really s start playing as an improviser from here. So this is great if you want to go and jam with your friends, go to a jam session, play, start playing gigs, things like this. This is a really good place to start and, um, and hopefully I, I can give you um, some, some knowledge and information um, to get you playing and enjoying and expressing yourself and sounding like you uh, as quick as possible. Also in this series as well, I'll give you um, uh, I'll give you some, some licks and phrases, some vocabulary um, um, that I use in my playing, that are kind of, some of them are kind of universal. Again, just to broaden your knowledge and vocabulary to have this blues conversation. The way in which these lessons and these series were designed is so that they are reality-based, they're fun, you're playing with backing tracks, we're having some interaction together as well um, and basically to get away from, from the stuffy head in a book theory stuff um, and still learn some of that theory but do it in a way which is fun where we're all playing and being creative as well. I really enjoyed making this series. Um, I think it's, I think there's some great stuff in there. Hopefully you're going to check it out. Uh, if you want to also see what else I'm up to, I've got some funk series up here on ProMusicTutor.com. We've got the Minor Blues series as well, um, and we've got some some Jazz 251 series as well. So there's lots of different stuff for you to check out. I uh, hope to see you soon. This is ProMusicTutor.com. If you want to play like the pros and learn from the pros, thanks. Thank you.